Well, we're nearing the door again. And what I think could be a normal exit. Yeah, it looks like it could be a normal exit. Now, how do I get Yoshi again? Oh, of course. Doesn't seem to be working yet. Yeah. Gotta hold the up arrow if you want to swallow up, up above, as opposed to down below. There we go. Sparks are annoying, though. Oh, great. Great. How? Let's try that again without Yoshi this time. Oh, jeez. Oh, and it turns around, too. <laughs> Once again, only this time, I'll be patient. Wait for it to head back. It will head back, right? Yes, it will. Now, I need to fall at the right time. Which was easy enough. And given those were red Koopas, it was even easier. And here is a normal exit, which is surprisingly hard. Compared to the star. Hey. How far can this go? Interesting detour. Do that all the way to get to the mushroom house. Or toad's house. Yeah. And there may be power-ups here. Well, a power-up. I'm just relaxing. There's something on the table over there that might interest you. And it certainly does. takes us down there. What do we have in the Star Road, by the way? Stargate. A Yoshi background? Or, yeah, frame, picture. This is the Stargate. The Stargate warps to other worlds. You need seven stars to enter that. I currently have one. Have you got all the stars? Above each one of these doors are paintings of what those next worlds are like. They are pretty cool. And... Maybe not that one. That one with the blarg looks a little bit creepy. So, is this the right one? Yes, it is. Okay. Heading into the water world. The deep sea adventure. One of the earlier ones where Mario could swim. You could take Yoshi with him as well. Okay. At least this is a yellow level, so I don't have to worry too much. And ducking saved me. A bit. Whew. Gotta be really careful with this one part here. Because it may squish you to death. Didn't squish me, though. Got lucky. So many fish. One of them apparently uncovered a one-up block. It's not really worth it. Got 17 lives anyway. I've also got a Yoshi. Okay, that was okay. Yeah. It's funny how enemies can also uncover invisible blocks in this game. You'd think it would be just Mario, or whatever Mario throws at it, but the enemies themselves can do it. It's funny. Oh, now we're out of the water, into the underground. One of the castles apparently has some plants growing out of it. And here, it, it is actually water. It's not like the Great Castle Adventure where the water is fake and you'll die. Just like Super Mario Bros. 1. 
lost, and lost levels. And they s should stop using that as an example. Even Super Mario Bros. 2 in the North American one, that one did not have any swimming whatsoever. So, that's an even better example. Especially since there are waterfalls. Yeah. And the old Super Mario Bros. X did not have swimming, but this one does. Yeah. This one's actually comparable to Super Mario Bros. 3. And waterfalls already in the water. That makes a lot of sense. We go out this one pipe. Yeah. Kind of funny how it doesn't have that one scrolling transition from Super Mario 3. Would have wanted that. That would have been cool. Eh. I guess you can't ask for too, too much. Especially if it's just a... Yeah, some kind of decoration or whatever. Just a little bonus, like the scrolling pipes. <laughs> nice! Super Mario Staircase, all the way to the end. I got my Yoshi, too. That just leads to that. So the underground caverns. What's this about? Well, chances are it's underground. Chances are I'm right. Okay. And we've got the Super Mario World Koopas, the ones that actually stand up right. <laughs> the ones that actually aren't tables of their own. Slide! Get all the one-ups that I want. At least for a little bit. And jumping piranha plants, too. Down we go! Water keeps rising up and down. It's making me dizzy. As but as long as it's safe for me to swim. Okay, I got to wait. So awkward. I don't even need to hold the up arrow now, do I? I'm thinking like Super Mario Brothers 3 and World. I gotta stop. No, no, Goomba, don't fall on me. At least the blue Koopa doesn't fall. And somehow neither would the yellow Koopa, I'm guessing. Yeah, whatever. I have a scrolling pipe for some reason. That's probably just a glitch. I'm pretty sure it's just a glitch, because this is a yellow level. That was totally smart. I think this is where I was. Almost where I was. Yep, there's the bridge. The one that apparently stymied me. Oh well. It's just that one jump, I suppose. Huh. So spin jumping on those blocks apparently destroys them. Don't know why. Running, and there's the goal, but what's inside these blocks? There's a one-up. That's really the only thing that I consider to be important. Waiting, and there's a castle. Larry's castle. Going all the way to Larry to the st from the start. That is an interesting fire bar there. It's extended and it's fast. Okay, those platforms go up. Kind of worry though. If they go through the ceiling, they could squish you to death. Is that possible? Also, for a second, I thought that was going to be like a Super Mario Bros. 1 maze. God, I pump way too much nostalgia into these Super Mario X Let's Plays. But that's essentially what they are. Isn't it? Yeah. 
this game, Super Mario Bros. X seems to be mostly about nostalgia, and how you can improve on it. There's Bowser's Bridge. And that fire bar looks a little bit crooked. Eh. No worries. I've got another one. Let's go ahead and pick this up. Get rid of the Hammer Brother, too. Nice. And that one! Into the door! That's not the boss. Eh. Whatever. Just disappears like that. So... If you even get close to the lava, you die. That's what it appears. A problem with this game. The surface itself shouldn't kill you, but just halfway through the surface probably should. That's how it works in Super Mario World. Well, actually, technically all the way through the surface. Oh, nice! <laughs> Didn't mean to do that, but it works. Okay. Different pipe this time. Although it's not gonna mean much when I'm already small. So, whatever. <laughs> well, these shouldn't really bothered, but at least we know where that pipe actually goes if we head back. Larry, where are you? Right after that hammer, I guess. Wait. Does he also throw hammers? I don't know. Let's try this with the power. The ice flower. So we can take our time, get rid of this one hammer brother right here, pesky little one, and collect the axe. And our other ice flower to spare. Okay. By the way, what is in that other pipe? Who knows? Warp to Donut Fields? Warp to Question Mark? Who knows? Where is it? It's a warp to... the Secret Island. With some interesting music again. Ah, Mario, you have recovered the Secret Island, where many do not pass. You will see some awesome areas coming up. Oh my! An invisible giant block with a blue Yoshi. That... That just seems unusual. Good luck! Trying to get that one up. These areas may get tricky. Oh ho ho! The Tanuki suit. Individual castles or just decoration? They appear to be just decoration for now. Eh. Let's go on. Yes, apparently we do go on.